This video shows the use of an Android app to recognize chess figures. Here I start the app and I place a figure from a book in front of the camera. Then I touch the screen to start the recognition. And while in progress, the app subtitle changes from idle to searching. The recognition attempt continues until I touch the screen again to stop it, or until it is successful, at which point the recognized figure is drawn. If you want to discard the result, then we can touch anywhere in the displayed figure board. This puts us back in the idle state, and we must touch the screen again to restart the recognition process. For figures where the black pieces are at the bottom, we must always touch the invert colors button to switch the colors before we proceed. This puts the white pieces on the bottom, which is necessary for the recognized position to be correct. A shorter way to discard the current result and restart the recognition is to touch the restart or repeat recognition button. This is useful if for some reason there are errors in the currently recognized position since we will directly repeat the recognition loop without going into idle mode. Now I place a figure from the book 60 Memorable Games by Fisher, which is in the icon of the app in front of the camera. Once we are happy with the recognition, we must select which color is to move, and only then can we go on to recognize more figures. After recognition, each figure is appended to a PGN file, and the last recognized figure is also saved in the clipboard as a pen string. We can then manipulate and open this file from the PGN menu. When we open the PGN file, we have the option of starting any chess app that can handle this type of file. Here, I open a PGN viewer to display the recognized position. You can see that the correct position is displayed in the PGN viewer. Next, I start the Droidfish chess app to display the same PGN for the same recognized position. Again, we can see that Droidfish contains the correct PGN in the file. However, if we wish to process only the last recognized figure, there is a simpler way because certain chess apps, in particular Droidfish and SCID in the Go, can accept friend strings directly on startup. To analyze the last recognized figure, we first select the color to move. Then we choose the Analyze menu item and all the apps that can accept thin strings directly will be shown. And we can then select which one to use. This is the most logical way to transfer the recognized figure to a chess app if we only wish to process the last recognized figure. We demonstrate this with the Droidfish app and we see that the figure is correctly transferred. Then we repeat this process with the SCID on the Go app and again show that the figure is correctly transferred. This mode of operation is ideal if you want to deal with each recognized figure one at a time and analyze it. A long press is when we hold the finger down on the screen, while a short press is when we simply touch the screen. To choose the color, we normally do a short press, that is, touch the screen and release. But if we do a long press by keeping the finger down on the selected color, this not only selects the color, it then directly starts the analyze menu item. So this is nothing more than a handy shortcut to a short press followed by selecting the analyze button and it just makes life easier. Now we show a different way of using chess OCR by starting the chess app droid fish and doing a long press on the chessboard. If we select the retrieve option this automatically starts the chess OCR app. We then use the same process to recognize a figure. But once we select the color to move, this returns directly to the calling Droidfish Chess app. This figure is from an older book with a different font. Upon starting analysis, Droidfish finds the correct move, which is BH7. The next example is from an informative book of combinations. Again, I call Chess OCR from Droidfish and recognize the position. We see that Chess OCR can start a chess app, or, as we have shown here, Chess OCR can be started directly from a chess app. Currently, only Droidfish and SCID in the Go have the ability to call a chess OCR directly, thanks to the generosity of their authors. In the future, I hope to convince more writers of Android chess apps to add this capability to their programs. We see that the program has found the correct move to solve the tactical problem, which is QE1, as was expected. For my next example, I start the chess app SCID in the Go, which can be used to create a searchable database from any PGN file. 
I first load a free database of 2.4 million games that is available on the app website and will be updated periodically. I now recognize one of the positions in the first volume of Subtle's Best Games, in particular the game Brown vs. Subtle's. Again I use Retrieve Position to start test OCR and after it does the recognition we will use SCID in the Go to retrieve the games that contain that position in the games database. First I recognize the position and then choose Black to Move and hold down to return to SCID in the Go. I then search for all the games containing that exact position in our open database. It takes about 6 seconds to search this database on an older tablet and about 2-3 to three seconds on a faster device. As we can see, the PGN for the correct game, Brown vs. Subtles, has been retrieved and is shown on the screen. Finally, I use my Nexus 4 phone to recognize a figure displayed on the computer screen from a game in the website chessgames.com and I show that the database search in SCID in the Go returns the correct PGM. Chess OCR is a demo that only returns 25 positions to a PGN file or a fence string, but it is free. Thereafter, it transfers the same dummy position, the one on the app icon. But even after this limit has been reached, Chess OCR still displays the recognized figure. So using only the demo app, you can check how well Chess OCR works on your personal library of chess books and magazines. If you buy Chess OCR Pro Key and install it on your machine, then all restrictions on Chess OCR are removed. The title of the Chess OCR app changes to Chess OCR Pro.